<laughs> that is right. He's like Kobe Bryant in a Colorado hotel. Unstoppable. Yeah, we won. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna move on now to the uh, the NBA draft. I, I hope I'm number one pick. I mean, I played a hell of a ball game. I mean, who wouldn't want wouldn't want JJ Justice? I think I actually saved over my two foot guy, unfortunately. All right, here we go. Nice job out there tonight. Your play really <laughs> impressed us so much so that we're considering using our pick on you if you're available. <laughs> Before we get that far, we'd really like to ask you a couple of questions. Question number one. I'm going to be a dick in all the interviews. We really feel like we can offer you something amazing, something no other team in the NBA can offer. Mike. With Steve Nash's career winding down, you have the chance to play behind and learn from one of the greatest point guards to ever put on a uniform. <laughs> Once Steve decides to hang it up and you've learned everything you can from him, the starting point guard spot is yours. How can you say no to that? Uh... Man, you can't. <laughs> It'd be an extreme honor to play with Steve Nash. He's a legend and a definite idol. If you drafted me, I would listen to every word he said and use it to improve my game. At the end of the day, no one can replace a Steve Nash, but I would definitely do my absolute best to live up to his standards. Oh, we still got another question? Okay, last question. As a whole, the Suns have kept the same core for the better part of a decade. We found a winning formula and stuck by it, just rotating in supporting pieces where necessary. As I'm sure you've seen over the last year or so, we're in the midst of overhauling our roster. We really love the idea of you guys <laughs> the process. What do you think about being a centerpiece for the new Phoenix Suns? Oh, yeah, that's right. Look, Look at the big-ass hands. Run with Nash and Stoudemire and all. It's time for a change, I get it. To be a part of that rebuilding effort is a big commitment. It's years of struggling to acquire the right people. I know, his hands are as big as some of the players. They really are. Can do, and I'm a firm believer they can do it better than anyone else. If they need me, I won't give anything less than 110%. Thanks so much for your time. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we would be ecstatic if you're still on board when it's our turn to pick. <laughs> oh man, the Utah Jazz! <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm the director of player personnel for the Utah Jazz. My scouts have expressed a lot of interest in you. Before I can give my blessing to use our draft pick on you, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. You know, to make sure you fit in with what we do here. Uh, oh, I fit in. The first piece to getting this franchise back on track is to find and develop our point guard of the future. Yeah, he would split girls in half. Air day. All day. the overall direction of the franchise. Looking back Yeah, he has some massive damn gloves, I bet. We want a point guard who will do the same for us, and we think you might be that guy. Convince us of that. What if I say uh oh, let's see here. I am that guy. Okay. Oh god! Are you gonna talk to some of the other point guards? But none of them are going to have my work ethic, my character, my education, and my ability to win. I'm going to be the face of a franchise, and I don't want to do it anywhere else but in Utah. I really feel like I'm. I want a Snickers. <laughs> Let's see. One more question, if you don't. Mind. We realize that here in Utah, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles. <laughs> well, the problem was they probably don't want to sign him because they don't have the, the money to afford the clothing and the travel for him. He couldn't even fit in the locker room. Someone is willing to spend their entire career as a member of the like, all right, JJ, we're going to take you through the loading dock. <laughs> I would be honored to be a member of this organization. I I gotta see who the last team is. We're gonna be addicted to them. Like, I want to play for you guys. I'd love to lead this team for the next day. Yeah, you get him into the game on a semi truck. They just lay him on top of it. Okay, I think 
I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we yeah, you could. Available when it's our turn to pick. Oh, hell, I don't want to play for the Pacers. Done, no. No, we done with them. We're telling him straight up. Greetings, I'm the GM and director of player... I'm the GM, blah, blah, blah. In the Pacers. ...potentially using this pick on you. First, though, we would like to get to know you better. By asking you a couple of questions... I don't want to get to know this guy any better. We feel like we already have good point guard depth on our roster and Darren Collison and George Hill. <laughs> Where did you see yourself fitting in with those guys? Look... I'll be straight up. Really fit with your current roster. Yeah. You guys already have some nice point guards on the roster. Guys that would cut into my playing time. I'd rather go to a place where my talents would be best. Yeah, here, Indiana. Sorry, that's not Indianapolis. All right, then. One more. <laughs> Talk about what you have to improve. One more? To jump to the next level. I don't want to play for you guys. Your game as a whole. Look, my game don't need no damn work. I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> I'm gigantic. Look at me. My game is flawless. I think my talents speak for themselves, and I'm not about to go change my game just because I'm playing against some new, allegedly better opponents. That's right. Well, I can see you don't got nothing on JJ. Good luck to you on draft night. <laughs> Good luck. Get out of here, stupid-ass team. We're number one, baby. We're going to the real team. The draft. Oh, look at that man going to the Phoenix. Look at that T. Tremendous length for a guard. Has the makings of being an excellent outside shooter. Very effective getting into the paint. Character concerns regarding pre draft in review answers. Lacks great blow by speed off the dribble. His decision making is often questionable at best. Must be improved to play at the next level. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, I want to start the draft. I want to see my giant ass guy be drafted. And to the yeah, JJ eats chicken. Tonight we celebrate a new class <laughs> of basketball talent that has made its way to the NBA. Their dedication and hard work and that of their families has paid off, and this moment is the next step in their promising young careers. It is also Whatever. See, this dude's done. He's gonna be like. Oh dear God! It's JJ. I'm gonna stomp on the stage. Get additional great players to make their teams better. In Detroit, go get JJ. Made tonight. Viewed by millions of NBA fans. Millions of NBA fans. Bucks. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, it looks like I'm probably gonna go to Phoenix, is what it says. So I'll be hanging out with Steve Nash and uh, the other guy. With the first pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Cleveland... I know he's going to take up 100 seats. Ah, uh, who was that guy? He has a joke. With the second he got nothing on JJ. NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves yeah, it takes, it takes a whole uh, herd of cattle for to feed JJ. With the third pick in the we're, going, we're going number 13. That's where we're Utah going. Jazz select Ennis Cantor from Turkey. I mean, if people are just coming in, you got you might as well stick around to see JJ. Uh, JJ is the 11 foot 11 uh, point guard who's going to be drafted in a few minutes. It's not tall enough. What's up, Mammo? Everybody else, welcome to Super Fantastic Video Game Rad Show. I'm Johnny Luchador. And for our spectacular Hispanic audience, a spectacular Super Fantastical Shabards of the Video Huegos, get there. Why would you want Jan Vesley? He sucks. With the seventh pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select. <laughs> it is named Spud Webb. Little Spud. The eighth pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Brandon Knight from the University All right. of Kentucky. We're, we're almost to 13. You're about to see JJ come out. I know. It's a big mistake they didn't pick up JJ. The Charlotte Bobcats select. 
Kimball Walker from the University of it's, it's sad that the Utah Jazz didn't pick me up. That was a dumb mistake. With the 10th pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select... I don't know. We'll see. Kimmer Fredette from Brigham Young University. Now, it looks like the Bucks got some other random person. With the 11th pick in the 2011 oh, man. NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select Clay Thompson from Washington State University. <laughs> JJ Zilla coming. With the 12th pick in the 2011 it, NBA let's draft, let's see, they picking, Jazz, picking JJ. Alec Burks. Oh, Alec they dropped the ball. They dropped the ball again. With the 13th pick in Here's the where it's at, baby. NBA draft, the Phoenix Suns select the 21-year-old point guard from El Salvador. <laughs> I oh, stick my man. hand through his chest. <laughs> That's no good. Yeah! 11-11! <laughs> Negotiations. I'll take 1.65 million. Yeah! I can play two years for these guys. Whatever, that's cool. <laughs> oh, rookie year, Cubs. I'm going to get my first endorsement in a second. <laughs> All right, JJ. Let's see, we're excited to have you. Let's let's see this. Let's see the billboard of you. Yeah! <laughs> Look how small the ball is. My first game is about to come up. We're about to do this. <laughs>